Hey, what's going on, guys? I know y'all probably saying, who is this guy? Like, y'all have not seen me in forever on my channel. And today is December the 1st. So, again, here's my attempt at trying to do Vlogmas. Last year, I think I did one day one and day two, and then I flamed out. But um, I'm going to attempt to try to do Vlogmas um, this time. Today, I just, you know, just came from eating lunch. I had to run a few errands. Um, I am off of work for the next couple of weeks because I have to take a online training, so to speak. And it's nine days or 10 days or however many days it is. And yeah, so I got to do that. So I'm not going to be at work. So I'll be multitasking. Also working on some content for my other channel, Shoot Better Sports. But I'll take you guys with me and let you see what I got going on. All right, so I finally made it. So right here, this is my childhood home. Uh, I grew up here. I think, we, I think we moved here in like 1987. And I was in the third grade when we moved here. And of course, you know, as some of you know, my channel, my mom, this was her, she was living here. Her and my brother and both of them passed away. My mom passed away in August, 2019 and my brother passed away in February of this year. So the house is was left to me. So I am going to be doing some renovations. This is where my family and myself will live eventually once we get everything fixed up in here and stuff like that. But right now, I just use it as, this is her old van. She bought this van brand new in 2004. Uh, this is just where we'll live. And you know, at a point, at a certain point, once we get all the uh, let me get my get my gear out for a minute. I put I put a little reef up. This is the reef that my mom used to put up every year, so I decided to put it up. No one, I'm not currently living here now, as we speak, but we will be sometime in 2021. I'm sure we'll be we'll be living here once we get the house renovated. And I probably said that three times already. All right, so yeah, so those pictures you see against the wall right there, that's um, pictures that I've taken with my new business. Um, I do youth action, youth sports action photography, and it's called Prime Sports Visuals. So those are some of the images I've, I've taken, and I'll use those as a display uh, once I, uh, when I set up a table or set up a booth at an event. Getting dark. Let me turn some lights on real quick. Turn my lights on real quick, so you can see. Ugh. All right, so this is the studio, guys. This is basically it. So this is where I go, and this is where I make most of uh, my stuff here, and I do most of my work. Um, as you can see, some of my stuff, my uh, sound panels are falling. But it is what it is. So when I'm done with this place, this will be still the studio, but this wall right here will be knocked in. All right, guys, so the basketball game tonight ended up getting canceled. Um, one of the coaches had to go into quarantine. He was around the other kids. And one of the players' whole house has COVID-19. So the game is canceled um, until further notice. So um, what I'm doing here is I am getting ready to offload my bag, my camera bag, because I had it. I had it like at, my, at, at where I live for the longest, but I usually leave all my stuff in my studio. So I'm here getting ready to offload the bag. All right, so here's here's the bag. Here's what's in there. So here is my, this is my Sony A7R. I usually use this, and this is a, it has a battery grip on it. The battery grip, the batteries are in it. The batteries are right there. But I usually use this camera here for portraits and things of that nature. 
And then I do also use it in sports when I'm limited with lenses. So if I have the 70 to 200, because this camera is 42 megapixels, I can use it and crop in really far once and get a nice tight crop on any sports images. So that's my A7R with a battery grip. Here is my, this is my Sony A7 III. I use this is primarily my video camera. I use it for video a lot. Um, I also use it for photos, um, but right now, now that I got my A9 Mark II, I don't really use this. I mainly just use this for video. And here is my. Hold on, guys. This is my Sony A9 Mark II with a Sony G Master 70 to 200 um, millimeter lens on it. This is my sports workhorse. I just bought this about a month ago. Um, I don't even think it's been that long, maybe three weeks ago. Um, and I love it. This is a uh, Rode Video Micro. If you are into YouTube and you do a lot of um, vlogging and things of that nature, this is the mic you wanna get, because it's great. Okay, so this is the Tamron 28 to 75 lens. And I've had this lens for a while now and I love it to death. It is comparable to the Sony 24 to 70 G Master for a fraction of the cost. It's not, doesn't cost nowhere near as much as that 24 to 70 G Master. And because I know what I'm doing with my camera, I can get great images and what I need to get out of this lens, this budget lens, basically it's a budget lens. This is my Sony 85 millimeter 1.8, great portrait lens. I also use it sometimes for sports, especially if I'm doing basketball, because it has f1.8, it gives me that extra stop of light I need in a poorly lit gym. So sometimes I use the portrait lens doing basketball, Sony 85. This is my wide, this is my Tamron 17 to 28. Great lens. Um, 17 is pretty wide. You can get a lot of like wide perspectives with this lens. It's pretty good. I definitely recommend it. I'll put all the uh, links to everything I'm talking about right now in my bag. I'll put it in the description. Uh, this is a trigger for my light. So this is a R R2 Pro. So basically it controls all my flashpoint lights. I have a Flashpoint Explorer 600. I have a Flashpoint Explorer 200 or Flashpoint Evol 200 Pro. I have two of those, and I ordered another one for Amazon to get myself a third one. And I don't, when that one arrives, I'll show you what it looks like. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you. No problem. Let me get All right, you too. That's me too. Okay. Thanks. You too. one of my packages so anyway I got another one of these this is the this is the flashpoint evolve pro so now I have what I wanted because these are so much smaller than, than the uh, Explorer 600 and you can just get these they're, they're basically like four times as powerful as a regular flash maybe even six times more powerful something to that effect um, they have high speed sync which means that I can shoot at really really low f stops I'm not going to get too technical because some of y'all probably like what is this dude talking about okay sometimes I like to mess around with music so I have the, some MIDI controllers there um, on the wall, you'll see some of my prints from my NFL days. Um, I, I made, got this shot of Clay Matthews when I was an intern with the Redskins. Um, I went to the Army Navy game with Army with the Army Photography Division, and I got this shot. Um, one of my shots hung up in the Pentagon um, after the game for a while. It was actually in the Pentagon, hung up. Um, this is a shot I got with when I had my own little brand, National Capital Region Sports Media uh, in the Maryland, Virginia, the DMV area. That's actually Joe Burrow when he used to play for the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes, and he ultimately transferred to LSU, and you know the rest of the story. I got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. 
Um, I got this same photo as an intern with the Redskins. Now the Washington football team, that's Aaron Rodgers. And then here's another uh, fifth picture of the quarterback from Ohio State. Um, dang, why can't I think of his name? JT Barrett, that's JT Barrett. And then I have other ones too that I got, that I just haven't fooled around with yet and put in, uh, put in frames, but yeah, so. My plan for the night was to do basketball, but it was like, that's not gonna happen, so. Back to the regular schedule program, I guess. Okay, so, you know, that's my lights. That's a 40, 40 inch softbox with, with, with a grid on it. Um, I have an overhead light on my, my, hold on, see if I can get wider so you guys can really see this. Yeah, so I have an overhead light on my, what you call it, on my desk. Um, I also have these lights here. I gotta find another thing, but that helps my ambient. So basically, since there's no real light switch in this room, I use these as basically ambient light. So I'll bounce them off the ceiling and get decent ambient lighting in here. Um, let me see what else I can show y'all. All right, so here is my, this is my, Sure, S, S7, SM7B. It is the Rolls Royce of condenser microphones. Uh, Michael Jackson actually used this uh, to record Thriller. He used this same, you know, the earlier version of this microphone. Um, I have my curved uh, 38 inch LG curved monitor. I love it. I don't even know how I ever had lived life without it. I have also a sound card here, which uh, helps me to be able to hook the mic up and get clear cut sound. Uh, it's made by Focusrite. Um, this little HD capture thing you see right here, this is how I'm able to stream. So I'm able to stream and get on people's live and do my live with my video camera from this little HD capture device. It's very affordable. Um, I mount my camera here when I'm doing desk things. If you see me do anything on my desk, um, I'll mount the camera here and I'll do that tutorial from there. Um, my laptop's over there. Um, here's my, uh, what is this? This is a Zhiyun Crane Weeble Lab S. It's a stabilizer, of course, and it's uh, for uh, to get smooth uh, cinematic moving shots. Um, I only use this thing one time. It's practically brand new. Um, I got, of course, my monitors for Mackie. Um, I have these same ones at work. Um, usually when I'm recording, if you see that, that tripod there um, and that screen, that's how I see myself. Um, that's when I'm recording with the screen behind me, I'll record that way. So I have a camera set up there, camera set up on my desk. And that's kind of like how I go between different setups. Um, I have a fan here if I get hot. All right, guys, that's about it for the day. As you can see, I'm closing now. I just wanted to do something to close off the vlog. Um, I'm back home now. It's about 10.05 p.m. on December 1st. So but that's basically what it is tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Uh, it'll be about the same. Um, I'll get up and we'll see what tomorrow has for us. Tune in for day two of Vlogmas. See you guys in the next one.